another crisis. As I speak to you, because of on, on planned protests, I will not say on plan, on scheduled protests that is coming to take the federal government. The Tinubu's administration are going after the Nigerian Labour Congress because they had intelligence that the Nigerian Labour Congress is in support of the oncoming storm that is going to hit the nation. And now they are going after the Nigerian Labour Congress. But for the first time in my life, I'm seeing something different in Nigeria. People are coming together against the government for the very first time. Now, the police invited the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Comrade Joe Ajero, that he, he is accused of treasonable felony, terrorism, financing, and so on and so forth. Now, people are running around this man. The crime of this man is because he supported the Ember governor protest and he is now trying to side with the people because he has seen that there is no gain in siding the Tinubu administration. The labor leader has been petting Tinubu's administration. Joe Ajero has not been doing well before. But only thing he did to support the masses, Tinubu administration wants to arrest him. According to Ugo Chire, if they don't want war to start in Nigeria, they should withdraw that invitation to the labor leader. This is not time for us to say, oh, the labor leader should go and face his music because he has not been trying. No, this is the time to stand with every masses against the government because the government don't mean well for the people. I am glad that people like Hugo Chiyere are coming out, you know, to support the masses and to speak the truth to power. Let's listen to his reply to Tinumbu and police. So I want the police force to withdraw. And I'm, and I'm speaking and I'm saying this on behalf of the opposition coalition. I want the police was to drop their invitation. Withdraw it. Just There's no need for all this garagara. Just withdraw it. Ajero did not come. NLC president did not commit any terrorism or murder. Just drop it. Drop it. So you don't bring people back to the streets and create confusion for the president. If you want to help President Tinubu, you go and chase out this bandit in the forest. You go and find out why crude oil is still being stolen. You don't help President Buhari by inviting Nigerian Labour Congress uh, uh, President and uh, accusing him of terrorism and murder and treason. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! There's serious issues. Stop it! If you don't know what people are doing, they need people to leave the place. The president needs help. There's insecurity. People are not farming. That's why there's economic hardship. That's why the price of food products are, uh, 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 produce are high. This is the real terrorism. That is the real asset. That is the real terror. That is the real uh, murder that you need to deal with. Not uh, Comrade Ajero, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress. It's not the cause of the problem. If NLC have even participated actively in the last uh, pro uh, protest, there wouldn't be peace by now. They should even be commended for managing the process. So are you now, what are you trying to do? To cow them? This is, this is not uh, in Kruzus as uh, uh, Burundi or Pobi as Cameroon. So we should get done with this. So as opposition, we are telling you there's serious issues to discuss. There's serious issues to deal with. So I don't want to have a problem with anybody. So please, I'm urging the Inspector General of Police. He's a fine police officer. Don't let your error be known with what we used to have when uh, transmission, transmission, and all the other ones that were there. No. You are way schooled and way mannered. Don't, don't, don't get involved in that. Don't allow yourself to get involved in that. The biggest thing you can do for the president that I know you love is to find a way to energize the police force to go after all these criminal elements in different parts of the country so that our mothers can go to the farm, so that our people can travel on the highway. Christmas is coming, people may not travel, people are not even coming to the country. So there will be limited uh, uh, FS inflow. These are things that need to be addressed. Not to invite Joe Ajero. Please, who server that designed that does not win, wish to be well? He just wants crisis. He just, he just wants crisis. Okay, if you want to be honest and publish the allegation of the terrorists, let's see and analyze the, your facts. Let's see the evidence. If you're proud of what you're doing, let the police publish the evidence of the allegation of terrorism against him. Let's analyze it. Because I'm talking from personal experience. If I'm not dealt with two people, I've seen how you know, wicked and evil people who are supposed to defend the law can be. And how criminal also. I was charged for murder. I was charged for terrorism. I was charged for arson. I was charged for treason. Things I didn't know anything about. So I'm not proud when I see somebody of that nature being dragged the same path I know I have been to. Where are those evidences now? Because somebody somewhere did not like my face. And he wanted to put me out of circulation. Our police force should have dignity. We should be, as, as we travel abroad, all of you travel abroad. You go to America, you go to, you see how decent, you know, even though not perfect, but you can see how decent some of these police force are. 
They don't get involved in maybe, opposition leader or NLC president in US or, or in Germany being charged for treason and murder. Whenever a treason charge or murder charge is preferred, the prima facie evidence is always clear. So you don't play with it. Everything must not be used for joke. And if you like the president, like I said before, you go and fix this insecurity that we can't even travel on the highway. We cannot even have food. So if you don't do it, there may be future uprisings. And you leave those issues and you're chasing, who do you think you can intimidate with that? Nigeria is at a tipping moment. Any little thing, like the ground is already, you know, you know spread with uh, gasoline. Any little thing, they can inflame. So we need to dust tension, not escalate it. And that's on that ground I'm saying the opposition is asking the Inspector General of Police to withdraw the, the invitation extended to the NLC president. And if there's any evidence of involvement in terrorism, probably let us see it. Because we don't believe there's any evidence that is compelling to warrant that, other than somebody wants to intimidate him. And maybe for those who don't know, Algeria cannot be intimidated. Most of us involved in this advocacy for better strategy cannot be intimidated with those charges. It doesn't matter even if you put us 100 years in prison, it does not change anything. So please don't inflame the situation and don't escalate this crisis. So on that ground, I'm calling on the president to direct uh, the, the police force, if they are not listening clearly to me, to withdraw the invitation extended to Joe Ajero and let's stop this. So I want. Mm. Anyway, that um, was from uh, Ugochire Imo Ikenga. He is also a House of Representative member representing one of the constituencies in Imo State. The man has been outspoken. And the man has always been sincere to some of his uh, broadcasts and statements that he has been making. There is no room for anti-people in Nigeria any longer. As far as the battle of secession is ongoing, people want to leave the country. People will not also allow the government to do what they want because they see that uh, some people are agitating to leave. That this is the opportunity for us to do the trust rate because people are no longer interested in Nigeria. Since people are talking about issue of referendum, they want to leave. Let us do evil because they will not be interested in this country. Who told you? If you want to use the opportunity because people are agitating to leave Nigeria because of that, you want to mesmerize the people, do the treasury, turn into a full dictator. You turn into more than even the military regime. Abacha, as was Abacha was. Abacha did not do all this kind of thing. Inviting a labor leader because he supported a protest, accusing him of treason because he supported a protest. And Tinubu has people like Akbabio by his side. And that is why the Northerners are saying that Akbabio must be impeached. We have interesting time ahead. So many things are going to happen in this country. And we'll be sitting down and we'll be watching them because the music that they are going to dance, they are the one playing it by themselves. The music Akbabio is going to dance is the one who played the music by himself. So we are not the one playing the music. They are going to dance the music they play for themselves. When you look at around Africa, you can see that the real change are beginning to happen. But Nigeria is like the stronghold of evil political forces. Nigeria is like the stronghold of evil gang. Politicians in Nigeria or polit uh, politicians in Nigeria is like a court. It's like a strictly court. Once you join them, they don't even care what other people do, how to protect themselves. That is what only thing they know, how to protect themselves.